vodka, nibbles and the work of a top Ukrainian artist in honour of John Hughes, celebrating a connection between Wales and Donetsk, now a city of nearly a million people. In 1869, Hughes was invited to Ukraine, then part of the Russian Empire, to bring the Industrial Revolution east. He developed an ironworks, coal mine and railway at a settlement he originally named Hughesovka and was honoured nearly a century and a half later in Cardiff Bay at a Ukrainian embassy event. It is probably the biggest industrial uh, city which develops a lot of industries including the uh, iron making, which John Hughes was very famous for, uh, coal mining and many, many others. So he really was the father of the Ukrainian city, which is now called Donetsk. The First Minister, Karwin Jones, was also honoured with a portrait by the creator of the art on show, Tatyana Ponomarenko Lavrash. Mr Jones believes John Hughes's story is still relevant. Well, I think the message is that uh, we've always been outward looking as a people, even when of course people were working in the mines and uh, working in the steelworks in their hundreds of thousands. We still had Cardiff docks where we are now, Barry docks where coal was exported around the world. Uh, and what we have with John James Hughes is an example of somebody who took Welsh expertise, uh, took it to uh, Ukraine and of course it thrived there. The Labour AM Mick Antonyv's father fled the Ukraine for Britain after the Second World War. He believes Wales could benefit from stronger economic ties with a Ukraine that could move closer to the European Union by signing an association agreement as a step towards EU membership. The travel will be a lot easier, trade will be a lot easier and less restrictive. And of course Ukraine, as well as uh, being a, a, you know, a producer of many minerals and uh, metallurgical skills, is also a, an agricultural producer. Uh, and, and also an importer as well. So there are, there are mutual benefits, I think, in terms of uh, common agriculture, common industrial uh, trade. We have similar um, objectives, of course, similar challenges in terms of what you do with, uh, as older industries start to decline, how you replace those jobs. I've met the Ukrainian ambassador before, and um, we have, of course, in Mick Anthony, who is the, as the Assembly Member for pont somebody of Ukrainian ancestry, and he, uh, he's certainly very keen to develop those links in the future. The Ronda-based Cory Band will tour the Ukraine, including Donetsk, next year, a further effort to build culturally on the legacy of Merthyr businessman and engineer John Hughes.